back to our channel. So today is Monday and I'm actually going to get my hair done today. It's pretty cloudy this morning. I'm getting ready to go pick up my grandma. I gotta go over to town and get her. I just left my house. Um, my husband is keeping cold today, which is super, super, <laughs> like praise the Lord for my husband. <laughs> he is probably going to be wore out after today, but um, my husband is really good with our son. So like I have no worries at all. Um, yesterday, Cole's eye actually started to look kind of red, um, the right eye, and it kind of um, was concerning me that he might have pink eye. So this morning we both looked at it. Um, it doesn't look really bad or anything, and it's not matted or anything like that. Um, it's just like the one corner is still kind of red, so I'm not really sure if maybe he got, maybe he just scratched his eye. Um, it's not like blood red, it's just like kind of like a red color like I don't know or like a pink color I don't really know but it just kind of looks kind of weird still but it's not like matted or anything so um, if it gets worse today and if he still has like pretty like red eye tomorrow then we might need to take him up to the doctor and get it checked I don't um, obviously want to let it go or anything um, I did change his sheets yesterday and got that stuff washed so um, I guess we'll see how he's doing later in the day. But me and my grandma will have to go all the way to Inwood. Um, I think I was telling you guys, but my cousin's wife is actually going to do my hair for me, which is super nice. Um, she's also giving me a little bit of a deal. But my grandma is actually treating me um, today for this haircut for my birthday. So thank you, grandma, if you're watching this. Um, I'm super excited to get my hair done. I haven't got my hair done in like two years like dyed um which actually for the longest time you guys I didn't want to dye my hair again I just wanted to let it grow out natural but I get I can't stand it like after a while I'm so bored of it and I really just enjoy having blonde in my hair I think it just I don't know it just gives me that extra I just like myself with like a little blonde in my hair so um, I'm excited to get the highlights today I'm not really sure um, I did send her a picture of what I wanted done so she already kind of knows what I want done and then with I was gonna chop my hair off which I told you guys but I think I'm just gonna wait a while and maybe do that some other time let it grow out a little bit more and just enjoy it um, an update on me I've this is like day three of taking those vitamins which have um, I think really do help a little bit um, I'm actually going to try what one of you guys suggested. I'm going to get me some apple cider vinegar and I'm going to try to drink a little bit of it and if I can't handle the taste or can't like deal with that they do make tablets to try um, but I'm really convinced more than ever that I have some low stomach acid issues. Um, I am mind blown still that the doctors want to give you heartburn medication automatically without really looking into it for you and especially when I actually told a doctor when I went to easy when I went down to um, a walk-in place here down in Moorfield um, I told her that the, the medication wasn't really helping me and her response was to try Zantac um, because it's a higher dosage so it just kind of like, so I did buy the Zantac, but guys, I'm not taking it. Like I did buy it because, it, you know, I didn't really, because I just don't really know what to do with that. But um, honestly, I haven't really, since yesterday, I stopped taking heartburn medication and I haven't really had any bad flare ups. Like I must have low stomach acid. I have to because it's not making sense if heartburn stuff is not treating that. Um, plus I've had a lot of burping um a lot of just like bloating which are signs of that and i've never had this issue before but it's very treatable <laughs> so like i could like just try some things to get it back where it needs to be and i also read like making celery juice which i have a blender i have a nutra ninja i could like blend up celery and drink it celery is supposed to really um get your stomach acid back where it needs to be is I think naturally so um, I'm all for doing things naturally so if any of you guys have any more tips up with this um, low stomach acid stuff let me know but anyways I'm almost to town and we're gonna head out to get my hair done 
So I just got back into town and it's been the longest day ever. I just dropped my grandma off and while we was in Winchester after I got my hair done, which you guys probably can't see me right now because I'm actually in the car driving over um, across the bridge to go home and it's dark outside now. It is like six. My husband said he'd be impressed if I got home by six. So I guess we'll see what he thinks about that. But um, it's been a super long, <laughs> super long day, but I had a really great day with my grandma. I was glad I got to go hang out with my grandma and just, um, it was a super long day. I felt really bad that it took like so long to do my hair. It took about three hours, maybe. I don't know, it just took forever to do my hair, but that's kind of like how it is when I get my hair highlighted because my hair is so thick and it is a de decent length. It's actually not as long as I've gotten my hair done before, but it's pretty long um, and it took a long time. <laughs> But yeah, my cousin, uh, my cousin's wife did, which I guess it's my cousin as well. She did a really, really great job with my hair. I love it. It's so pretty. I can't wait to. Um, we stopped by to visit my uncle there, um, who is not really doing that well. So if you guys would say a prayer for him, I'd really appreciate it. But um, he has type one diabetes, so it's very, very uh, difficult. He's on dialysis and everything, and. But we stopped by to see him and his wife was actually asleep because she works um, late at night. She goes into work and then she sleeps during the day. So we didn't get to see her, but we just stopped by. My grandma had to drop off some stuff to him. And um, then we went to Costco and my grandma bought some stuff in Costco, which I hope didn't just spill out in the back seat of my car because when I got to my grandma, some of the blueberries had fell out. But Costco was having like a really awesome sale on blueberries. Um, so yeah, I might just show you guys what she, we got at Costco. It wasn't a lot of stuff, just a couple things, but um, those grapes that come from there are so bomb. They are so good. I could just sit around and eat grapes all day because they are so good. So this is the stuff that I got at Costco. Grandma got some Huggies for Cole. You get so many in this box. She gave me a pack of tool paper. Um, then we got some blueberries. These were only $3.99 for all these blueberries. And down here at our store, you pay like $3 for a miniature pack. So that was a really great deal. Um, she gave me some of her applesauce cake. These are the best freaking grapes. I don't know if you guys have ever tried them, but they're from Costco. They're so good. So good. Skinless chicken breast. Um, then we have some albacore tuna which um tuna sandwiches are my favorite plus healthy um and then she gave me a can of this to try so i'm excited to try this big thing of water you get 80 bottles of water dude and then over here she got us this Activia yogurt, which I might eat one of these right now because I'm really craving one. And this was an awesome deal. Um, on all, this thing was only 10 bucks. And you get a lot. Where does it even say? 158 loads. That's pretty dang cool. Oh. Okay, turn back See around. It. Go slow. Okay. Keep going. Okay. Keep going. Okay, keep going. Can they see the collar any good though? Is it focusing? And then here's what I got. She gave me to try. She had this at her house. So I'm gonna try that um, in the morning because one of you guys told me to try it in the morning. So I'm gonna do that. But we actually ate at Arby's and I didn't have any discomfort at all after eating there, which that's a good thing. It's been two days now since I haven't taken the heartburn medicine and I've been feeling better. So I come home to this guy taking a little nap. Peace. Peace. 
Hey guys, so I just put the baby down for a nap and I decided to come outside because it is beautiful out. It is 60 something degrees. I'm not even shitting you guys. It is so warm. So anyways, it is so freaking warm and the ground is still muddy and wet, you guys. Like, I don't think it's ever going to dry up <laughs> from all the rain that we have gotten. Um, this is like the most, which I think I told you guys, but like the most rain that we've had of like years. Like, I'm talking like hundreds of years. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd come outside and get a walk in. Um, what I did the other day, I really enjoyed it. I walked all the way around the backyard and then all the way around the house down the driveway back up the driveway and then around again and I kept it did that like five or six times I think I did it like six times and it was a nice walk so um and then I didn't even have to leave the house that way and since Cole's in there taking a nap I got the monitor out here so I can just get some time outside because you guys know me I love being outdoors and every time I come outside and every time I walk I feel a lot better but um I want to exercise again because I know that's so important for your body and like um it's just something that I don't really get anymore and I know that I need it because um <sighs> you guys know that I've been having stomach problems um like this morning I tried the apple cider vinegar and <sighs> you guys I put like a teaspoon and a half I think in um a coffee mug and put eight ounces of water in it um heated it up a little bit and got it warm had nothing else in my stomach i took a drink of it and within like not very many seconds i um instantly burped like really fast and within like my next couple of sips that i was doing of it i felt like i was getting heartburn like i felt like the sensation coming on so um I'm really confused because I don't really know if I have too high stomach acid or too low. I don't know. Um, so what I'm, I do know sometimes like when I eat, it actually helps. Um, it helps the feeling go away. Um, and then sometimes when I don't eat enough, the feeling will come on too, which is really odd. Um, the best way I can, my husband actually went up to the hospital to um, do some tests because he is getting surgery at the end of the month. Um, I think I told you guys, but he's getting surgery. So, but yeah, the best thing for me to do, which I realize, guys, like I've got to cut that googling crap the hell out because it doesn't do me any good. I'm sick and tired of it. I'm trying to treat this naturally. I don't want to use medication. Um, I don't. I mean, I don't want to have to take heartburn medicine, and especially if it doesn't do anything, um, which is what, like, had led me to think that it was too low my stomach acid. But I don't really know because I thought apple cider vinegar was too. I don't really know, honestly. I don't know. Leave me a comment down below if you guys know what the apple cider vinegar is actually for. I mean, does it help increase stomach acid or does it help decrease it? Because it's very confusing and it did not work for me this morning like it instantly brought that feeling on which I haven't had for a few days and I'm kind of mad about it now because um, I mean I, I had to try it because I wanted to know but um, I haven't had that feeling for a couple days and yesterday I even ate Arby's and didn't have any issues at all so it's really weird so today I've been dealing with it some but after I eat like it subsides which is really look odd. he's outside getting a little walk we just had it left now, but there was a really dark cloud over here, and it started raining. You guys, I just heard a freaking eagle. There's an eagle somewhere above them freaking buzzards. Those all can't be eagles. Those have to be buzzards. But I heard an eagle. I swear to God, I did. A little turdy out, huh? He wants up, don't you? Can't see. So you can't see sitting like that. Little chubs. Little chub cheeks. You getting chubby. He 
onions tonight for dinner. These ladies and gentlemen are called wild onions of West Virginia in their natural habitat. Hey you guys, so today is Wednesday, it's currently sleeting outside, um, and blowing snow, it's been blowing snow all freaking day, the mountain up there you can see way off in the distance, but it's looking really foggy, that's snow, <laughs> winter has come back again, I straightened my hair today to see what it looked like with the new collar, um, I really like it, so, yeah, I was going to do makeup because I felt like since I did my hair, I should have went and done my makeup. But honestly, guys, it's like one or the other for me. It's either I do my makeup and I let my hair go, or I do my hair and I let my makeup go. <laughs> Pick one. I'm breezy today. We're supposed to get snow this weekend. I'm not excited about it at all. Cole is finally asleep, I think. He has been laying in his bed now for like 40 minutes. I'm not even kidding you guys resisting to nap which he never really does so i'm not really sure why it took so long for him to go to sleep it's probably a growth spurt or him just changing not really sure which one but i think my husband just went outside to um pick up some stuff and put it back where it needs to be because the wind blowed so bad last night that it blew the grill off the freaking back porch and almost knocked it into our ac unit which would have been really bad, but the wind blew that hard that it just took the grill right off the porch. It was crazy, and we both heard it last night, and I was like, what in the world was that? Like, we was out here watching TV, and it was so loud. So yeah, I got a mess to clean up. Um, I'm gonna make this deer steak tonight. Um, I am going to go, I wanted to give you guys a quick update. I don't wanna ramble too much about my health issues in this vlog because I'm just like, I do better when I don't talk about things and when I don't Google stuff. So, um, quick update on me. I'm going to go ahead and go through with my ultrasound for the gallbladder because, um, still been having the random pain. Depends on what I eat. And, um, I've obviously, um, if you guys are wondering, but I've been eating pretty healthy. I haven't had coffee now in like five days, um, which seems like forever. I really want coffee, but... I'm trying not to drink it. I'm trying to eat healthier. Um, I had a sam salmon sandwich a little bit ago, which was so good. Um, it was that canned salmon from Costco. It was really good. Um, with some grapes and blueberries and um, some almond milk I was drinking because I had some of my grandma's applesauce cake, which after I ate that, I felt like I got some pain, probably because it has like, probably has a lot of sugar in it. I don't know, but yeah. Um, it all really depends on like what I eat, but just wanted to tell you guys, quick little update. So we're not doing nothing today. I dusted my room, cleaned the bathroom, but now I gotta sweep and mop back there. I haven't done that, but it is almost two o'clock in the afternoon. This is what we've done today and I've showered. That's pretty much it. These days of like just staying at the house, um, like I feel like it's just so boring. <laughs> That's why I haven't vlogged a lot for you guys in this vlog. I feel like it's just so random because we're not doing anything. So I don't really know what to vlog because it's so boring. So I hope you guys understand. But um, my husband still kind of got the frog and sickness. And my grandma currently has, has it now. And it's just like something that lasts like a long time to get rid of it. Um, it's been hanging around for a while now for my husband. So um, yeah, I'm just going to clean up, put these dishes away and um i don't know what else i really want to do besides finish cleaning but other than that probably nothing pick me pick me cool so we just got done cleaning your room huh it's all nice and clean it's looking pretty fresh Hiccup head. You got the hiccups. You had the hiccups. So you went out, huh? You went out of there? So you was in there while I was vacuuming. You being such a good boy. See my mama. <laughs> <laughs> Good 
doggie. <laughs> Update. So he's still using that strap. But uh we're gonna try here before my husband goes back to work to take it out and work with him because it is gonna take work with him because he's so used to the strap. It's very hard to get him to understand to lay down because he's not made to lay down, which I feel like is kind of bad. Um, but at the same time, you guys have been watching my vlog since uh, months back. That strap really did um, save our, I mean, it really was helpful in the beginning and maybe we should have took him out of it a lot earlier. We just never did. We tried a couple times and me and my husband were like, uh, we'll do it. We kept putting it off because he's talking to the monitor. We uh, kept putting it off because he kept waking up in the middle of the night crying a lot and basically just needs trained not to sleep with it. So that's coming very soon because the weight limit on the strap anyways, which he can sit up in the strap, now, because he's so strong, he's 25 pounds, and I figure he's probably getting close to that because he was 20 pounds at his last nine-month doctor's appointment, so. Here you go. You like it in there? You like oh, no, he wants out. Okay, let's get out. What'd you find in there? Some more ninnies. I just cleaned your room. Get your baby butt back in here and clean this mess up, boy. Yeah, right. What's up, guys? Today is Thursday. It is about 3.25 in the afternoon, super late. Don't know why I'm starting off so late with you guys. I do apologize, but I just got done wiping down out front. I don't normally do this till Friday, but tomorrow me and my husband get a little break. So um, I just didn't want to be consumed cleaning tomorrow, you know? Um, so I got all, everything wiped down. It's so nice and clean. I wiped my cabinets down. They have not been wiped forever, but so yeah, everything's clean now. Did the top of my fridge, top of the microwave, places I normally don't wipe, but I did today. It was pretty dusty. That cat, this door right here to where the furnace, the furnace is behind there, it was really nasty. So I wiped all those freaking little, whatever you call them things, shutters, I guess. Wiped those down. Um, so yeah, I was in like a cleaning mode. I got it all done while Cole took a nap. He took a pretty long nap. I think like an hour nap. I'm not really sure, but it was a while. And, um, yeah. So I'm glad that that's done. So the only thing left to do is the floor, which I can either do the floor tomorrow sometime, or I can do it on Saturday because this weekend it looks like we're gonna have a snow weekend. Like, we're gonna be snowed in. So I'll have plenty of time to do cleaning or whatever I want to do because I don't think I'll be leaving the house. Ah, uh, he keeps getting stuck on this door back here, you guys. He does the same thing every time. Hey! Come on! You gotta quit with that door, boy. Come on! Cole! <gasps> He's interested in watching Daddy blow dry his hair. Yeah something sad you want to guys know something sad I moved my fruit basket over here and do you guys notice anything my coffee maker went away 
I haven't drank coffee now for like a week since my like health thing's been going on. I just decided not to drink caffeine. I did have sweet tea, unsweet tea. Um, we ate at Arby's the other day when I went to get my hair done, but um, it didn't bother me at all. But like in the morning, I feel like it's when I have that the worst. So, um, and I feel like coffee really did like make it flare up, so. I put my coffee maker away. Super sad, but um, I haven't had it for like a week. Honestly, I felt like I haven't needed it. Um, I haven't even needed coffee. I would only drink one cup in the morning anyways, but now I gotta figure out um, what I'm gonna do with my coffee creamer. I might try to give it to somebody because I don't want it to go to waste. Um, I might see if my friend wants it, but yeah, I haven't been drinking coffee for like a week, so. Oh, well. I haven't really like needed it. I felt like every morning like it's a little easier as every day goes on where I don't really think about having it. Um, I know I could buy decaf coffee, um, which was like a thought, but for right now, I just took it off my counter. So now I got like a lot more space over here besides this stupid thing. But um, I don't know. I think I like it better, you know? <laughs> for um, cleaning the dish strainer, it's like, it makes it look brand new again after I spray it on and let it sit for a couple minutes, it looks brand new. You just like, the thing that happened with the last dish drainer is that I left the water on, like I let the water get nasty for too long on it because I really hate cleaning them, but um, we just really like having a dish drainer for organization and just to let the dishes drain and stuff. Um, we just really like the dish drainer versus the dish mat. Nothing against the dish mat, it's just honestly this works better for us. Our dishes dry a lot faster this way and we just, you know, I hate the clutter of it, but honestly, we just, we like it a lot better, so. But yeah, um, last time I just left the water on too long and then I couldn't get the mildew, like this hard water stained off. But if I keep up with it, and this stuff really does a good job. Woohoo, got my waterproof boots on these are the only uh snow boots that i have um we were under a winter um storm warning i believe for tomorrow today is friday i wanted to come on here and end off this vlog really quick might start a new vlog because um it'll be the weekend and i kind of wanted to get Cole's reaction on the snow now that he's a little older so um might start a new vlog for you guys so if you enjoyed this vlog be sure to give us a thumbs up um, subscribe and we'll see you in the next vlog. Bye guys.